What's good YouTube? It's your boy OG Ryan here back with another video. Now today guys, it's gonna be a top 10 video. Now I haven't done one of these in quite some time now, which is why I thought it would be a great idea to do one. So today's is gonna be the top 10 things I look for in a girl, uh, meaning like girlfriend, you know, things like that. You know what I'm saying? So um, before we get into that though, Make sure you go like this video right now. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you want me to do next. And then finally, subscribe if you're new. Join the OG family. But yeah, guys, with that being said, let's get into number one, bro. Okay, so I have these written on my phone. And as I say them, I'm going to be putting them up on the screen. So yeah, number one. Number one is going to be loyalty. Now, I mean loyalty as in, come on, bro, like, I personally don't believe in like second chances. I believe if like they cheat on you the first time, like it's a no go. You, like you know the saying like once a cheater, always a cheater. Like I'm kind of a firm believer in that aspect. So yeah, that you have to be loyal, bro, because that 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 first time you fuck it up. Ever since then your partner's gonna be wondering that in the back of their, their mind now because you already put it in their head. You know you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it it's a pretty big deal. So, on to number two. I'm gonna go with, you gotta be comfortable. You need to, like, be yourself because you can't be with somebody and they're, like, trying to portray somebody else. You feel me? Like, they have to like you for yourself or else it's just not gonna work out. That's how it is. Like, don't try to be someone you're not, you know? It's just, oof. So, on to number three. Number three, I got down as being a good listener. Now, I mean that as in a way, like, if your partner needs to vent to you, like, what they don't, like, want your opinion, yo. You feel me? Like, what if they just want someone to talk to, you know, just, like, to vent to, like, without you having like stuff to say about it that could like make them even more mad you know they just want someone to talk to that's what being a good listener is they might not need your opinion but just someone that they trust that that they could vent to you know what i'm saying like that's what a good li listener is so on to number four damn i'm going through these pretty quick that all right so on to number four it's gonna be like you need to be included in her life you know what i'm saying like, you have to do stuff together. You got to be, like, together. Not all the time, but you got to feel included in her life. You know what I'm saying? Like, do things together. Like, go out on dates. Go to the movies. Like, you know, bond, bro. Hey. And, oh, oh. This one's a good one, too. This one's a good one. So, number five, I'm going to be going with dependable. Dependable is huge, bro. If you can't depend on your partner, like, what are you doing? Like, come on, bro. They have to be there for you. If they're not there for you, then who, you know, like, then why are you with them, bro? It's not going to work out. You, you feel me? Like, these are these are all must-haves in a relationship, bro. What I look for in a, a girl. So, on to number six. It's going to be sharing the same values and beliefs. Now, when I first thought about this one, I really had to think about it like values and beliefs. So you can either take this in a way as like religion, like God, Christianity, like what is she? Like are y'all on the same page that way? Or you could also take this in a way as like how you want to raise your kids, where you want to raise your kids, you know, like, like that type of thing. Like what kind of household do you want for them? You know what I'm saying? And like the foundation of y'all's relationship, like that too. So keep that in mind. On to number seven. Now, y'all, y'all are gonna, I don't know what y'all are gonna say about this one, bro. So, I put number seven as being physically attractive. I already know I'm gonna get the people where it's like, uh, it's not about the looks, it's about the personality. Like, I know that, bro. I know that, like, personality is a huge thing, too. But I'm saying, like, I'm not trying to have no ugly babies, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want someone that's going to be attractive because I want some cute babies. You know, it's my offspring, bro. That I want them to be cute and, and adorable. So physically attractive, that's a big thing too. It's like, if you're not attracted to your partner, bro, like, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Think about what you're saying, bro. Like, when you see your partner, you should get, get the butterflies in your stomach, bro. Like, you should make your heart race type shit. Like, 
You gotta be attracted to your partner, bro. So, hold on, I need some water, but holy shit. All right, number eight. Uh, which one is it? Oh, she's got to be kind and friendly to people in your life, bro. If she is a bitch to your friends or she always nags about your friends or she, she never wants to hang out with your friends, bro, that's not going to work out. She's already trying to drive you away from your friends and, like, y'all can't hang out together, bro. Like, I could see if, like, your friends are, like, the ones, like, you know, they're being mean to her, but... More times that probably doesn't happen is usually the the girlfriend that's the one that's like oh you're, you're gonna you're gonna hang out with them again or like no I don't like them you know like that type of thing like come on bro like don't be a you know like a sim bro like come on bro like don't let a, a girl get in between your friends bro like it's not worth it bro but hey my next one's gonna be a sense of humor bro if she can make me laugh that's awesome bro. like low like low key it's not hard bro like i low key i don't laugh at everything but like you know i feel like i'm a pretty like funny dude you know what i'm saying like it's not hard to make me laugh like if you send me memes and shit that that shit is more than likely gonna make me laugh like vines like dank memes like shit like that you know that shit's funny but um oh on to the next one ambition bro she needs to have like goals in her life like what she wants like what does she want to do like how is she gonna get there she's gotta be ambitious bro you do not want a trophy wife bro i mean unless you're like balling like that and you just want your girl to just be there but not do shit that's on you bro but i don't want no trophy wife bro she's gotta be putting in work too no cap like it just depends on what the household is. Remember what I said? Beliefs and values, it just depends. But, hey, like, I would want my girl to have a job, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, we both got to be making the money. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, yeah. So, on to my next one. I'm going to be with understanding. Now, I mean this as in a way, if you fuck up, she's got to be understanding, bro. She can't be, like, all pissed at you for days and days and weeks. You know, like, you gotta be able to resolve that shit quick, bro. That's what a good bond will do. You, she has to be understanding, bro. Unless you, 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 like, fuck up really bad. And that's, like, pushing it, too. I'm talking about just, like, small arguments. Like, the most basic arguments, you know? Understanding each other. Not being childish and, like, ignoring each other. You know, like, come on, bro. What are you doing? That's not gonna get you nowhere, bro. Like, come on. Like, I get you're, you're like, mad, you, you feel me, but, like, a ignoring each other, like, that's something people do, like, in high school, bro, and middle school, bro, like, it's just not worth it, bro. So, on to my next one. I don't even know what number we're on. I literally just, while I was sitting here, bro, and then I was like, you know what, I want to make this video. So then I started typing out all the things I could legit think of, so... When I go back, I'm going to put all these numbers in. But hey, on to my next one. It's going to be consistency. Now, I mean consistency in a way like you don't have to wonder like where you stand with her. You know what I'm saying? Like she always reminds you or like shows you where you stand. Like you shouldn't be wondering like, oh, like does she even want to be with me? Or does she even like care about our relationship? You know? Like, your girlfriend shouldn't be dry with you, bro. Like, she's your girlfriend. If she's giving other guys more attention than you, bro, you gotta dip. Or, or like, tell her, you know, like, be like, you know, like, what's up? You feel me? Like, consistency, bro. You shouldn't ever have, have to feel like, um, like y'all are okay, you know? Y'all y'all should always be on the same page. I feel like I said this in one of my early, early videos, too. But this is a different type of, of video, though. So, yeah. All right. So, my last one of this video, I think it ties into consistency, no cap. But, but my last one's going to be, she puts in effort, bro. Like, you're not the only one putting in effort, bro. Like, she wants that shit to work out just as much as you do. You feel me? Like, you can't be having a, a girlfriend that's just like, you know, like, she, she says she likes you. I love you, like, you know, she, she says that stuff, but she doesn't mean it, bro, like, she doesn't show you she does, because, remember this, bro, words are just words, bro, 
Like, <laughs> right? Like, words are just words. But your actions show, like, who you truly are. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, all I speak is facts. Hey, go follow me on the snap right now. No cap. But, hey, puts an effort, bro. You got to have someone that puts an effort. If you don't, it's not going to work out. Because if you're the one that's putting in 80% of the work and she's only doing, like, 20, you're going to get tired, bro. You're going to get tired. Like, come on, bro. It's not going to work out. So, yeah, guys. I hope this made sense. I hope this, you know, helped y'all get an understanding of what I look for in a girl. I don't think it's too much. I'm yeah, guys. That's going to do it for my top 10 things I look for in a girl. So, yeah, guys. Like this video if you can relate to me at any point in this video. Comment down below. Let me know what you want me to make next. And, hey, subscribe if you haven't already. Join the OG family. I would greatly appreciate that shit. But, yeah, guys. Have a great rest of your day. And I'm out.